Hi, in this video I'm looking at this problem here calculating the perimeter of these two shapes. So the perimeter is the distance around the outside and both of these don't have all the sides on them marked. So we've got to think logically about what's going on for these shapes. So let's have a look at part A. Part A is an octagon. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. This side here is marked as 98 millimeters, but each side has one of these little tick marks on it, which means that each one with a single tick mark on it means it's exactly the same length. So that means that all of these are 98 millimeters. So in this case, the perimeter is that we've got eight lots of 98. And to do lots of stuff in multi in maths, we do multiply. Because we've got eight sides worth 98 millimeters each, we do eight lots of 98, which is eight times 98. So the perimeter of eight is 784 millimeters. Part B is a little bit trickier. We have a similar concept where we've got tick marks, single tick marks here. So these one, two, three, four sides are all the same. But we've also got double tick marks, and that means that anything with two tick marks on it is all the same. So these four coming down here are all the same. And then we've got three tick marks, which means that these two are the same. So what we need to do is make sure we know the length of everything. So we know this line here is 15. We know this line here is eight. It's the same as this line. So this one is also eight. We know that this side is seven. We know that this side here is 3.5, which is the same as this. So it's 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3 We don't know these short sides here. So we need to figure out how to work those out. Now, if you think about what's going on with these shorter sides, I can sort of do a bit of an adding up. I've got that short side there from there to there. And so that gets me to that point. And then I can have that one, which gets me to there to there. And then this one gets me from the bottom to the, from a bit up. And this one gets me from there to there. And all I've got left is this sort of bit in the middle, which we know is seven meters. So if I work out what 15 minus 7 is, so if I work out that first, 15 minus 7 is 8 meters, which means these 1, 2, 3, 4 parts left over are this 8 meters left over. So if we divide that 8 by how many we've got, we've got 4 of them, which means that they're worth 2 meters each. So each of these lines is 2 meters long which means that that's two, that's two, and that's two. So I now know the length of everything. So my perimeter for part B is going to be, well, we've got this 15 meters here, so we're gonna have 15. And then we're going to add on, we've got this eight meter as well as this eight meter. So that means we've got two lots of eight meters. So we can do two times eight. And then we're going to add on where we've got one, two, three, four lots of two meters. So we're going to have four lots of two meters. And then finally, well, not quite finally, I can add on one, two, three lots of the three and a half meters. So I've got three lots of three, oops, sorry, four lots of three and a half. And now lastly, the last that we haven't taken care of is this seven meters here. So our perimeter is going to be this sum here, 15 plus two lots of eight, plus four lots of two, plus four lots of 3.5, plus seven. And if we work that out, that gives us a perimeter of 60 meters. So depending on what shape you have and what information you're given, you're going to need to do a combination of multiplying because you might have duplicate sides or you might need to do a little bit of working out to work out what the unknown sides are.